Number two, how much heat transfer occurs from a system if its internal energy decreased by 150 joules while it was doing 30 uh, joules of work? All right. So um, first thing, that the, here's a table. We got to memorize it. All right. I'll talk about it in a second. And uh, well, OK, I guess a second pass. So let me talk about it. Um, we have to know the signs that are associated with certain uh, terms or certain heat or energy transfers uh, by or on a system. So if you know work is being done by a system, meaning that system is doing work on something else, then the sign of the work in our formula over here for internal energy will be negative. The system is essentially losing energy because it's doing work on some other object. That should hopefully make sense. If work is being done on a system, then from the perspective of the system, work or energy is being added to it, right? So the sign should be positive. Simple example is pretend you have, pretend here's a floor and here's a block, and here you are. And you want to lift this block up onto a table, okay? So you're going to take the block and you're going to lift it up and you're going to put it on top of the table. So from this perspective of the block, right, work was being done on it. If I call the block the system, work was done on this particular system, right? Who did the work? You did the work. So if I call you the system, work was being done by this system on this system. So the energy of this thing should go down, and the energy, the internal energy of this thing should go up, right? And that should kind of make sense, because once this block, you know, uh, um, increases by a certain height, I was thinking about, I don't know what I was thinking about, but it increases by a certain height, you know now that it has more potential energy due to gravity. So you know the energy of this thing went up, but where did that energy come from? Well, it came from the person. And then where did that energy come from? Well, it came from chemical energy, right? In terms of converting uh, the food that we eat into, into energy inside the body. So hopefully that kind of makes sense, all right? Uh, that's sometimes a little tricky. I think the heat stuff is a lot easier, right? If heat is added to a system, then it should be positive, fine. If it's removed, then the heat value, the Q, should be negative. If the internal energy, if or if internal energy is removed from a system or it decreases or whatever the terminology is, it should be negative. And then if internal energy is added to or the internal energy increased uh, for a certain system, then it should be positive, all right? So, again, this all describes this particular formula over here on the right side. However, 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 I do not like to use, I like to know this particular table. And then what I do with my formula is I just add them together. Q plus W. To me, this makes a little more sense. Right. Otherwise, if I leave in the negative sign here, then my, these signs have to switch. And to me, it just doesn't, it might to you, but to me, it just doesn't make as, as much intuitive sense. You know, it's kind of like when you're adding vectors, you know, when they say the sum of the forces in a certain direction is equal to zero, and then you would say F1 plus F2, right, would equal zero. And let's say here's your free body diagram, and F1 is pointing to the uh, right, right, and then you have F2 pointing to the left, and then when you plug this in, you're like, oh, wait, well, wait a minute, F2 should be negative, right? So that's exactly why now this works out to be F1 minus F2 is equal to zero, okay? So I like to think about it as basically the, in, the change in internal energy is kind of the summation of the change in heat and the change in work. Um, and then I like to consider the signs after the fact, all right? I just think, uh, you, you might think it's an extra step, but for me, it kind of clarifies it. So in any case, the goal of this problem here is to calculate uh, the how much heat transfer occurs. So we know that that variable is Q, not to belabor the point. Let's solve this thing for Q. So we realize Q will be equal to change in internal energy minus the work, okay? Now that being the case, right, I can simply now plug in my values, but you gotta be careful with the signs. So the change in internal energy, they said that the internal energy decreased. Right, so it sounds like internal energy is being removed from the system. So therefore, the value of that should be negative 150. And then it's minus now the work. Okay. Well, it says while it, meaning the system, while the system was doing 30 joules of work. Does that sound like work is being done by the system? Or does it sound like being work is done on the system? Well, it sounds to me like work is being done by the system. Right. So the sign should be negative. 
So I'm going to plug in now here negative 30. And now when I solve this, it's fairly straightforward. Right? This should be then negative 120 joules. Now that should make sense. Think about this for one second. If we said that the internal energy, right, U, is simply basically the summation of the uh, heat energy and the work, right? That means that the total amount of energy that was lost, the total amount was negative 150, right, joules, okay? This was all the energy that was lost. The negative sign just means it was lost. So this energy was lost how? Well, we just solved and we just found that, well, 120 joules of that energy was lost as heat. And the remaining 30 joules then was lost as work. Okay? Or, or being, or I shouldn't really say lost as work, but you kind of know what I mean. All right? So this should hopefully make sense here. And that's that. So I'm going to be referring you guys back to this problem, um, probably in future videos, because to go through this detail every problem, uh, I'd probably, you know, go crazy. Um, nor do you, nor, nor will you need the explanation every single time. All right? So guys, hopefully this video helps. If it does, help us out. Give us a hand. Help us grow. We appreciate it very much. And thank you for watching. Take care.